All right, in this video here, we're going to look at um, doing goniometric measurements of the shoulder. We're going to do flexion, external rotation, internal rotation, and then she's going to flip over prone, and we'll go ahead and do extension. So <clears throat> uh, first, a few basic palpations we need to kind of look at here. Anatomical position. So the fulcrum for a lot of these measure or for flexion and extension is going to be that greater tubercle. So if you find that acromion process here, it's the flat shoulder pad on top. Come right down off of there. You're going to feel that bump. That's going to be the greater tubercle. Be careful not to just like push on that bony prominence. So that's where our fulcrum is going to be. And then our moving arm is going to get down to the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. So to make sure you don't get on the radius or ulna, bend it. You can feel that pretty easy. Also, the test might talk about just bisecting the humerus. And then the stationary arm, once our arm is up and out of the way, will bisect the midline of the body and stay there. <coughs> So this is kind of here what it's going to look like when you initially set that up. Now remember, once you've established the fulcrum, that's the laser going through infinitely. So you don't have to follow up and over. So we have these landmarks here. So go ahead and flex your arm for me. <clears throat> remember the patient does it actively. And then you can reset stuff. That's totally fine. Make sure we're bisecting. So this starts at zero. So she's gone past 90. So as you can see here, she's at 113 degrees of active shoulder flexion. I'm gonna apply some pressure, find that infeel. Feel that firm infeel right there, 122 degrees right there. All right, that's our shoulder flexion. Now in this position, we can do external rotation. So you're gonna abduct the arm to 90 degrees. You wanna to try to get that humerus parallel to the ground. It actually doesn't look too bad. Let's just see. You tell me what feels better. Number one or number two? Number two, all right. So now our fulcrum, electronon process. So on that ulna there. And then stationary arm is gonna be perpendicular to the ground. Moving arm is gonna go up to the ulnar styloid process. Right here. Line those guys up. Then she's gonna externally rotate. So go ahead and externally rotate. Remember, you can reset things up. She's got a ton of external rotation. As you can see here, she's 84 degrees actively. I'm gonna push fine in that end feel. Keep going, I went past nice, and right there's firm. 95 degrees of external rotation passively. Landmarks are all the same. Now we're gonna do internal rotation. With this one though, if you watch this shoulder, after a while, it starts to come up right about there. Now that scapula is moving and we have a shoulder girdle movement occurring. So once that happens, that's when the measurement needs to stop, okay? So line those guys back up and then go ahead and internally rotate for me. Reset it up there. All right, she is at, as you can see here, 45 degrees of active internal rotation. I'm gonna push and I'm actually more watching her shoulder Right about there. Then I make sure things are lined up. And she is, as you can see, 61 degrees passively. All right. Now, I know it's going to switch arms, but she's going to get in the prone position. We'll do extension. <coughs> All right. So her arm's just going to be straight back, laying beside you here. Fantastic. Again, you can put some towels under there if you want. Are you okay like that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Landmarks are just like we had with flexion. So the greater tubercle, <clears throat> just that laser going straight across. And then the other arms are gonna be bisecting the body for your stationary, and then following, the, bisecting that humerus uh, for the moving arm. So go ahead and extend your arm up for me. She can bend her elbow, that's totally fine. So you can let your elbow bend, see how much you can extend up. The way the bicep tightness doesn't get involved. There we go. So actively, this is where you don't leave this on the skin because then you're gonna throw off that fulcrum. So making sure that's level, follow on there. She has 40 degrees of active extension. I'm gonna push a little bit. Tell me if you feel a good stretch. I feel it firm right there. And we have 53 degrees of passive shoulder extension. So <clears throat> the next video, we'll take a quick look at shoulder abduction.